Hey guys, it's LL underscore Rybone, and today we're going to be trying out a new video format for a Heroes of Hammerwatch run. Uh, the goal is to shorten the run and still contain most of the critical information of decision at so things such as shops and stuff like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up my build, I'll go over my build real briefly, and then we'll head right into the run. So for this run, I've got a crit setup, uh, which is Staff of Volatile Casting and Lucky Hat. I do have Slippery Cloak, which is really good. And Rebel the Arch Archmage will help out with our skill power through Cedric and Resistance through just existing. Um, I've got my preset one for my Fountain. And uh, otherwise, my effects, I've got these Blessings, these Drinks, Harry Magus for MP regen because I'm a little bit low on this character. Uh, same reason for Blessing of Mind here. And the other damage and healing skill-based drinks, as well as Cedric, Wilmer, and Ozreth for statues. I will be doing Moon Temple NG8 in this video, and hopefully I'm aiming to get it pretty short for you guys, but we'll have to see how it goes. Our first shop. So I'm going to pick up uh, Sandals of Swiftness. Uh, yeah, let's make noise. Uh, probably Hunter's Knife would be really good here. But this is going to be 10% damage. I'm going to take Hunter's Knife for healing. And Aberrations for damage. So, Blood Rites are like almost always worth it. The only one I really don't want here is uh, the Beast. So, I'm just hoping I'll get that. Our own is Mana Regen. That's phenomenal for us. Here we go. Boss one. This is the part of the video that may or may not take the longest. Oh. So. That could be very short too, I guess. <laughs> I think I'm going to pick up Essence Collector here just because there's lots of undead and we get mana crystals which are almost essential for our survivability so that's why I'm taking this here. Take two. Oh, did it start here? Or here? Oh, closer, closer. So here's pretty easy. I don't really care for this because I don't want to get hit. Uh, these only add 10% damage. So I'm going to take this for gold, this for survivability, and just either one of these. Which one's cheaper? This one. Because both just add 10% damage for me. So that's, that's why I'm taking those. We got the other one. Boss number two. I think we just fire an E here. We can get one on top of him. I think we just win. Kind of like that. Pretty much, pretty much how a sorcerer goes, really. I'm going to take Dual Sedge here, because then we get the full evade set. It's really good. Not because of the set effect, but because we're going to be sitting at... Mm, I don't know, 39% evade, which is really, really good. This is a really late Dwarven Pickaxe, but really, really good. I don't really care for the Orgeon here. I'd rather take the extra damage to Constructs, because there are a lot in this level. Uh, Tower Shield's a must. Chainmail is too. I'd pick and pickaxe over the rest of this.
Last boss. Here we go. And go. The plan is just to kill them as they come out, hopefully. And there it is. And G8 complete on the sorcerer. So let me know how you guys or what you guys thought of this new video format for using Watch. I like the long ones personally because they contain a lot of information, but I thought maybe a really, really hyper comp compressed minimalist kind of run may be appreciated too. Anywho, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.